And I hope that as we move into the winter, which we know will be especially brutal for uh, the people of Ukraine, that we don't lose our commitment or our absolute passion uh, to help them with every tool that they need, uh, with military means, with humanitarian aid. And I also think it's time for the United States and NATO to take another look at providing more defensive weapons uh, because what the Russians are doing is trying to literally bomb the Ukrainian people into submission by destroying their power generators, their electricity grid. They will not succeed, but the suffering will increase. Uh, so anything that can be done to give the Ukrainian uh, military more uh, means of re rebuffing these uh, brutal bombing attacks, uh, we need to be looking much more closely at doing that. So, so you think and you would support um, the United States uh, giving more sophisticated um, you know, anti-missile anti defense systems. And also the U.S. Has, has called several times, I've spoken to senators on both sides, that their big ally Israel should do the same thing with the Iron Dome that the U.S. provides, etc. What would you say to your, you know, the, your own country and to allies in this regard? And others in Europe as well. I, I would say exactly what you said. It is time to give much more sophisticated uh, defense measures. And I know there's a new government in Israel, and uh, they are rightly concerned about Iran. And because they are, they need to understand that Iran and Russia have now made an alliance uh, where Iran is assisting Russia, particularly with drone technology, uh, to uh, reap even greater destruction uh, on Ukraine. I now believe it should be understood to be in uh, Israel's interest to try to undercut and prevent uh, Iran from succeeding, because if Iran and Russia uh, deepen their military alliance outside of Syria, where they've also been uh, working together for a number of years, that is very dangerous for the entire world, but in particular for Israel. So Iron Dome, other means of defense, uh, I think defensive measures are called for, and wherever they come from, the United States, other NATO nations, Israel, now is the time to send a very clear message to both Russia and Iran that their behavior, their bombardment of Ukraine, they're learning lessons that they could maybe apply in invading, occupying, or bombing other nations will be stopped right now. So yes, I agree completely with those calls, and I, I hope that uh, there's a lot of conversation going on uh, to try to uh, move forward on that.